All right, everyone, this next story is a doozy. And I love talking about stuff like this. Um, well, let me stop. I hate talking about stuff like this because it's honestly sad and it's very depressing. But I like talking about it because it's important and we really need to uh, make sure that this is a constant reminder to us that things are not good here in this country. So this is about healthcare. We haven't talked about healthcare in a bit on this channel. Um, I don't know when my last video was pertaining to this particular subject, but this is a CNBC article and the title is the following, and this won't shock you. A record high share in US report delaying medical treatments due to cost. And then there's a hyphen and it says, here's how you can save on healthcare. So we're going to go through what this article has to say uh, uh, very briefly about the people that aren't seeking care. OK, they're not seeking medical care because they don't have they don't have the money to pay for it. Just take a moment to digest how sad that is. And then they're going to give us tips on how to avoid this. More people in the U.S. are deciding to hold off on medical care for financial reasons. How sad the share of Americans who say they or a family member delayed medical treatment due to cost rose 38% in 2022 from 26% in 2021, according to the results of a Gallup poll released January the 17th. The percentage is the highest since the polling organization began taking measurement in 2001, at which point 90% of people answered they'd postponed health care because of money. The latest result also marks the sharpest year over year increase in the survey's history. A large share of the delays in treatment last year were for health conditions that the respondents described as either somewhat or very serious. Wow. People are stretching out drugs and avoiding doctor visits for diabetes, heart disease, and other chronic diseases, which can cause the problems to spiral out of control, said Carolyn McClanahan, a certified financial planner and physician who is the founder of Life Planning Partners in Jacksonville, Florida. If you are struggling with healthcare costs, taking these steps can help experts say. So before we get into the crux of how insanely horrific this is, Let's see how we can avoid this, right? Because me and you, you know, we may, you know, come down on hard times in the future if we're not already, and we might not be able to pay for our own health care. So let's see how they're suggesting we help ourselves. The number one tip, start with in-network providers. One way to save on medical expenses is to make sure your doctors are in-network for your insurance plan. And then it goes on to say some other dribble that I won't read to you and bore you with. Number two, make the most of reaching your deductible. Wow. Planning for care with consideration of your deductibles is another cost saving strategy. Number three, be an engaged patient. Working to stay informed about your health and any necessary treatments along with practicing little skepticism about what you're told by medical professionals can also help down cost. How lovely. Number four, seek help with cost. If you're anticipating a hospital stay, review its website for information about financial assistance programs. You may qualify for a reduced or even no cost stay. That seems to be all the tips they have for us. How unfortunate. <sighs> you know, when I read stuff like this, and by the way, 38% of the American population is millions of people. Okay. That's a lot of people that are saying, I can't get, dude, I got heart disease, but I can't, I, I, I don't have the money. I got diabetes, but I can't. I have this chronic illness, but I can't. That's so many people that aren't seeking medical care because they don't have the money. And going back to these tips before I forget, not once in any of those tips, those ridiculous tips I just read out to you, these strategies to help us, right? Did they mention we should nationalize everything regarding to do with healthcare? We have a for-profit system that preys on you, that takes your money and in return gives you mediocre care and doesn't even cover everything in many cases for a lot of people. 
obviously. We have a lot of smart people here in this country, a lot of incredible doctors, but we have a system that promotes this type of nonsense. We do. We have a system that has done great things, that has promoted a lot of growth, a lot of new technology, but it's overstayed its welcome. And uh, all it sees is dollar signs. And when you leave things up for profit to the private sector, as we've done with many things, including healthcare, pharmaceutical drugs, and all the rest of it, this is what you get. This is what you get. This is exactly what you get. And this isn't being discussed on any national stage. I mean, th these are. this is an article that would make other countries, other capitalist countries, just cringe. Cringe. Because this is where we're at here in this country, you know? I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. And when I come across things like this, and then you, you know, you see people on the news or online, and they say that the, the biggest problem here in this country of America is that people are too woke. You know, if, if we just become, or if certain individuals just become unwoke, well then all, everything will be fine, all the problems will fix itself. The wealth and inequality will shrink. People will finally get health care. The wars will stop. Yes, yes, it's wokeness. And, I, okay, I'm just choosing wokeness because it's the first thing I thought of. But they'll try out any kind of nonsensical um, distraction to blame uh, our current experience with turmoil on, you know. And, sure, certain things might have genuine grievances. But it's not the, nothing is an end-all, be-all. Okay, and simply because people become unwoke or un anything else, that's not going to make people go to the doctor because they now mag they ma they now magically have the money to get the treatment or pay for the surgery or pay for the medicine, the insulin or whatever it is that they need. This is embarrassing. That's what it is. It's embarrassing in a country where seemingly, um, or at the very least, our leaders tell us anything is possible. Um, <laughs> Apparently it isn't. Apparently, uh, regular Americans can't get guaranteed health care. What a sad story.